Social media was flooded with the Algona Candy Challenge as fans try on making their own treat using the deadly carving challenge on the South Korean hit series Squid Games. The Algona is a popular treat with children not only because of its smoky caramel taste but because of the fun shapes stamped into it. Street vendors traditionally make Dalgona candy in metal ladles over open flames. But in this video, sweetheart, I'll be using different techniques. I'll be giving you some tips and advice on how to make this honeycomb candy using the materials that you have at home. So please continue on watching, sweetheart, and discover if I will survive this episode 3 of Squid Game. to do is to prepare our materials. I have poured the vegetable oil in a plate and passed all the cookie cutters that I'll be using in this Delgona candy. I have tried using this piping nail holder that is made of plastic but of course if you have this stainless steel presser, meat presser, it is better to use this one. Of course you have to pass it through the oil as well. And now we can start to begin to make our caramel. Basically, we're just doing a dried caramel here. I am putting 50 grams of sugar. Make sure to start at low temperature, especially when you are using an electric gas oven because it burns so easily. When it starts to have a very light amber color, start to mixing it. This is the crucial part in cooking in an electric gas oven. If you have cooked it too much, it will gonna be very dark in color and strong flavor. So as you can see, I have lifted up the casserole and took out of the fire and started mixing it to dissolve all the sugar and then add 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda continue mixing the mixture until the baking soda has completely dissolved and the mixture becomes frothy and doubles in size pour the mixture on a parchment paper and flatten the candy with something heat proof like a stainless steel presser and then you can press a small cookie cutter to gently create a shape in the candy since I am working with a big batch of caramel, 50 gram sugar to be exact, I have to work fast on this because the caramel that stays on the casserole continues to cook. And when I pour the candy onto the parchment paper, it hardens very easily. And as you can see here, I have tried to cut out the outer part of the candy to make it very neat. But unfortunately, with the first two cookies, it already hardens, so it is really not possible to press and make a neat round candies. You can see here the big difference of the color of the first candy from the fourth candy. So I suggest that you do this with someone so they can help you press the cookie cutter or help you work faster for this caramel candy. You can see also that the triangle candy is broken because I have pulled out before it has been totally cooled down. And you have to pay attention as well with the thickness of this caramel candy. Et voila, sweetheart, we have successfully created this Dalgona. Of course, with the shape of Squid Game Triangle, Square, and Circle. Squid Game's Dalgona Challenge is one of the most difficult in the series, with contestants having just 10 minutes to cut out the shape in the cookie from a relatively simple triangle to a much more complex umbrella. And they are eliminated if their candy cracks even a little. And now, sweetheart, it is my time to take this Delgana challenge. Of course, I'll not be using the one they have used in the series, so I'm not going to be a very hard spoiler here. So let's see if I'll survive or I'll die in this challenge. Oops! 
see. <laughs> and what the abs it hard so I am dead and I better run but before I end this video sweetheart if you want to see my trial and error and know some tips and advice how to perfect or how to make a perfect dalgon at your home please continue watching First is the amber light color for the caramels. As I've said earlier, if you overcook it, it's gonna be darker in color. And as a result, you have a burnt caramel. Second advice with heart is to do this candy with small batches of caramels. You can see it hardens already before I can work with it. So better to call a friend or to call someone to help you to work with this. As I have mentioned earlier, I have used this plastic piping nail holder to flatten out the candy. It actually works but just make sure that it has oil in it so it will not stick with the candy. I even continue using the piping nail holder, even the caramel already stick on it. So I just put some oil and press it harder, then it is more neat. Third advice is you really have to work fast on this caramel. As you can see, I have even cut the border of the round shape, so it's perfect round shape. Then of course, cut the excess when it's totally cooled down and that sounds up my dalgona challenge sweetheart and i really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and share and if you are new please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i really hope to see you on my next sweet adventure